Because guess what, my sisters? Who controls the sex? The man or the woman? Which one? I know who control it. I'm asking you. Huh? The woman control the sex. Yes, she does. Now, now let me ask you. Who control the sex? Wake him up. Y'all confused. I'm asking the young man. Young man. Uh, they gonna keep it a hundred with me. My, the young men gonna keep it a hundred with me. I'ma ask them. I'ma ask the young men. Zion, you back on. All right. You tell me who control the sex, Zion. The woman control the sex. All right. We talking about what? This is all a part of the little children that's oppressing their parents. Right. Read it again. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter three and verse twelve. What's your name? You. What's your name? MJ, we don't want you to become a little child out here oppressing, being disrespectful to your mom and daddy. That's not what we want you to do. What's your name? Xavion. All right, read what you got. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Children are their oppressors. Come on. And women rule over them. And what? And women rule over them. And what? And women rule over them. Zion, what did the Bible just say? <laughs> what did the last part say? The first part said children are our oppressors. The last part said what? And women rule over them. All right, so now I got to ask my sisters a question. I'm going to read the scripture again so you can hear it. Read. As for my people, children are the oppressors. The Bible says that for, as for his people, right, the young men in the community are the oppressors in the community to the adults, right? That's what the Bible says. Now listen good to what it says after that. Come on. And women. And who? And women. No men. And women. Come on. Rule over them. The, 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 the women are the ones that's responsible for these young men. Teach. Why is that? Why well, don't say the daddy rule over them? Because the daddy not there. Right. Read it again. As for my people, children are the oppressors. The Bible says children have become oppressors in the community. Right. Why? Come on. And women rule over them. And women rule over these young men. They try to, right? They try to raise a man, but they're not a man themselves. It's not going to work out well. Right. You're going to have a young, emotional young man. A man that is like a bull with a net on him that's trying to get out. That's just willing to hurt somebody to get out of his situation. That's what you're going to have. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you know what the woman has to do? You know what our mamas has to do? You know what our grandmama got to do? They got to submit to a godly man right. that can instruct them in righteousness right. and show them how to be obedient and show them how to be respectful. Right. Because most of our women today are very disrespectful to the men in their lives. So what do the children learn? How to be very disrespectful to their mama. Right. That's what they learn. What are we reading about? The so-called black man in the Bible. That's what we're reading about. Come on. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err. Wait, 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 wait. What, is the, what, what, what do the women do? Cause thee to err. No, they that what? They that lead thee. The women that lead thee. Come on. Cause thee to err. They causing y'all young men to err. That's what the Bible says. Right. The women that lead you are causing you to err. You know why? Because women by nature are emotional. Right. You understand? We don't get periods. We ain't bleeding every month. We ain't doing that. Guess what? The woman does, though. She got many hormones she releasing. We ain't got that problem. Right. You understand? That's why we are capable. We're able to deal with a young man and teach you how to be mature. Teach you how to be logical. Teach you how to reason. Teach you how to resolve conflicts without screaming, yelling, calling the white man to come fix our problems. Right? right? A man can do that. Right. But if the woman take the man out the house... Is the man going to be there to help build up these strong young men? No. So the women are going to do what? Raise oppressors in the community. That's what's going to happen. A, young, a woman are going to raise oppressors in the community. But guess what? There's a solution for that in this Bible. All we got to do is repent. All we got to do is say, okay, God says that. I got to humble down. You understand? I can't do whatever I want to do. I can't tell my son he can be in a gang if he want to. I can't tell him that. You understand? Read. 
O oh, my people, they that which lead thee, cause thee to err. They that which lead thee, cause thee to err. We want y'all to stop making these errors. You understand? One of these errors that we have in our community today, right, is this right here. Is this right here. Give me uh, Deuteronomy or Exodus, Leviticus chapter 19. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it again from the top so we can get the whole point. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, they which lead thee, come on, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy past. And they do what to the young men? Destroy. They do what? Destroy. I they was being mothers. Destroy. They was loving them. Destroy. You hear what the Bible says? But all the mamas think we loving our children. All the mamas think that we doing the best that we can. The Bible say, nah, you destroying these young men. Right. Right? And it started when you start disrespecting their daddy. That's what happened. Because guess what, my sisters? Who controls the sex? The man or the woman? Which one? I can't hear you. The man or the woman? Who control the sex? Which one? I know who control it. I'm asking you. Huh? The woman control the sex. Right. Yes, she does. Now, now let me ask you, who control the sex? Wake him up. Y'all confused. I'm asking young men. Young men. Uh, they gonna keep it a hundred with me. My, the young men gonna keep it a hundred with me. I'm gonna ask them. I'm gonna ask the young men. Zion, you back on. All right. You tell me, who control the sex, Zion? The woman control the sex. Zion, like, if I controlled it, I would have had all these women. You understand? Let Zion tell it. You understand? Let Zion tell it. You would have had all of them. All right, so what I'm trying to show you is that the woman control the sex. Right? So when you choose to open your legs, guess what? You've chosen your baby daddy. That's what you did. You chose him. So you're telling me he was good enough for you to sleep with, but he not good enough for you to listen to? He's good enough for you to sleep with, but he's not good enough for you to listen to. That's crazy, that's crazy. But guess what, this has become what you see today in our communities. Read that apart again. As for my people. As for my people is what the Bible says, come on. Children are the oppressors. The children have become our oppressors today, come on. And women rule over them. And who? And women rule over them. And the women rule over the children, right? Come on. Oh, my people. Because their daddy ain't telling them to be in the house, right? The mama the one telling them to be in the house. Right. Or she not telling them to be in the house at all. You know what the mama saying? Just use a condom. That's what the mama saying. That's crazy. The mama need to be saying, thou shalt not. That's what the mama need to be saying. You understand? But the daddy's not there, so she hasn't been built up. She don't know how to do it. Come on. Oh, my people, they which lead thee. They which what? They which lead thee. The black woman that's leading the young black men, come on. Cause thee to err. Cause thee to err. Come on. And destroy the way of thy past. And destroy the paths of the young men. Right. Come on. That's it. That's it? Yes, sir. All right, Leviticus chapter 19. All right, we're going to go through just some basic laws on how to deal with each other. How to get our minds right so that those that's leading us ain't continuing to call us to air. All right? We got to get out of that mindset. That's not the mindset of a repentant black man. You understand? Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. You know what the Bible says? Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. <clears throat> How do we do that nowadays? The sisters are confused. My brothers, how do we prostitute our daughters nowadays and cause them to become a whore? <clears throat> oh, the sisters got something. What you got? I heard something over there. Come on, I heard something. I, I, I heard something. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter. What does the Bible say? Do not prostitute thy daughter. Right, the Bible say, the Bible say, do not prostitute thy daughter, right? Come on. To cause her to be a whore. To cause her to be a whore. My brothers today, how we prostitute 
our daughters to cause them to be a whore. I, let's say I got a daughter and she your age. Let's say I got a daughter and she your age. Or let's say the young woman right here getting in the car right there. Let's say she got a daughter, she your age. Or the young woman sitting on the porch with the yellow one. She got a daughter, she your age, right? Read the scripture again. Do not prostitute thy daughter. What does the Bible say? Do not prostitute thy daughter. The Bible say don't prostitute thy daughter to do what? To cause her to be a whore. How we, how we making whores out of these women today? Again, they Say it again, sis. By not marrying them off. Right. Right? By not marrying them off. Now, remember what we established. The woman controls the sex. Right? So who's really in control of that? She is. Right? So she needs not to open her legs until what? Until what, my sisters? Until what? That's right. You understand? Until marriage. And then guess what? All a lot of them problems will be resolved. A lot, you know what that man gonna if he's a nigga, he probably just gonna keep it moving, right? He probably gonna keep it moving. What did you just avoid? Another baby daddy. You understand? That's what you just avoided. Right? My sister got her hands up. Say amen. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> all praise to the most high. Men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. 